It's heartbreaking to hear a six-year-old boy is killed in the Chicago area because of a foreign conflict, because of hate that arises out of a foreign conflict. This is a family, Joy, that fled from the West Bank, fled from the occupied Palestinian territories over a decade ago to get away from violence there, and they lost their son in the United States of America in 2023. It's absolutely horrific. And you have to ask the question, who wakes up in the morning and thinks, I'm going to kill a kid today? I'm not just going to kill a kid. I'm going to stab the kid to death, and I'm not just going to stab them once or twice. Stab them 26 times. A six-year-old boy. What kind of hate makes someone do that? It's not hate you're born with, Joy. It's hate you're taught. And I do not believe it was a coincidence that NBC News is reporting tonight that this alleged killer was an avid listener of conservative talk radio. We have heard some vicious and vile anti-Palestinian rhetoric uh, in recent days from people like Tom Cotton, a Republican senator, saying, as far as he's concerned, Israel can bounce rubble in Gaza. Lindsey Graham saying Israel should level Gaza. Uh, Ron DeSantis saying everyone in Gaza is an anti-Semite and shouldn't be allowed into America as refugees. Marjorie Taylor Greene saying if you're pro-Palestinian, you're pro-Hamas. That is the kind of dehumanizing rhetoric. Some would say genocidal. What does it mean to flatten, level an area where two million people live? That is the kind of rhetoric that in many cases prompts people